All right, that was really weird. My capture, or my screen went black. My capture card flashed. Nothing happened on the capture, though, like on the computer that's recording it. Nothing happened to the capture on there. And, yeah, weird. Hopefully that didn't fuck anything up. It doesn't look like it, but, you know, whatever. Over here, right? Somewhere down there. All right. So, hello, everybody. Welcome back to Dark Siders Two. Uh, picking up right where we left off. Heading out to uh, the Charred Pass here. Now there is a dungeon here, the Scar. I'm assuming that's a dungeon that we haven't been to, but that's apparently we're not going to be going there for a while. By the looks of it. I don't know. I also don't know. Because like this collectibles guide is really weirdly spaced out. Because like it has multiple locations. And that. And then like as it goes down. You actually end up with like a couple that are just by themselves. So I don't know if that means there's just like a fuck ton of collectibles in those areas. Or like there's just like a lot of story in those areas. Okay, so. Okay. Don't know what that means, but whatever. I see a stone. Nope. Nope. Would you just die already? Thanks. All right. <coughs> this looks like the one. Oop. All right. Okay, so now we got the last bit of ore on here. Bit north, which would be this, nope, this way. So he's over here somewhere, I guess. Because, I mean, that would be the entrance. Unless a bit north of the entrance means like actual like the actual entrance to the place not just like the entrance like towards it yeah there it is oops so i guess we don't like i mean there's a boatman coin there and everything uh weird that you don't get it for that one but anyway that's the last piece of him so we'll definitely have to go and have a chat with him after. But I guess we can't get that yet for some reason. I um, guess I don't really see a way to get up there. Oh no, right there. I mean, I feel like I could totally get that. But if I get it now, then I'll fucking forget that I already got it. And I'll be, or it'll fuck me up because then like I'll have one more coin than I'm supposed to for each of these things and it's just not worth it. Alright, so I need to go this way. Apparently there's a well that I need to find. Fuck you. Ah, oh, it looks like a well. <laughs> Alright. Right, Y is down. I mean, I just did that, no problem. <coughs> oh, there it is. Well, that was easy enough. Ooh, a power stone bite. To the north, which is this way. Um, although I guess I would have to be able to come out of the water, right? Well, this doesn't look north, but there's a chest here. Uh, I mean, that looks like I could definitely do it, but, you know, death has to be all complicated about it. Oh, there it is. There we go. That. Now, I wonder, is it better to... Uh, wrath on... Eh, fuck it. Like, is it better to turn these in, like... 
three of the same kind at once, or should I be turning them in? Because, I mean, 25 actually doesn't let me do three of the same kind. Like, well, it does, but, you know, eventually it would. Um, so, like, would it, like, is it better to do that? I might have to look that up. Or is it better to, like, mix and match them? Like, wait until I get, like, I don't actually, hang on. Uh, quests. Um, sticks and stones. Mystic, power, and resistance. So, yeah, I'll have one extra of each if I turn them in three at a time. So, and I guess if I turn them in one of each, then I obviously would only be able to do that ten times. Huh. I don't know. I think I'll just stick with uh, three of each. I might look it up in between because I doubt that it will... Uh... Well, I guess so technically we do have enough mystic ones to go back and turn them in because I did not go and do that in between. Like I said, I might. Mainly because I didn't feel like it. There's really no other reason. Uh, let's see. Southwest from the well. Well, there's the well. So southwest would be that way. A small room inside a ruin keep. I don't see a ruin keep to the southwest. I mean, I guess that maybe, but that's the entrance to the cauldron. That's not really right. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, I see. It is that way. It's just. I wonder. I don't know how far, like, that teleport slash goes. Like, I wonder if I can use it to move around more, you know? Like, if I, uh, like, if I do that, like, can I get somebody from across the map and just all of a sudden be over there? Because that could also, in theory, help me to, uh... Man, I really hope it's all the way up here. It says it's inside, though. Yeah, there it is. Good. Because, <coughs> like... It could, in theory, help me get to... Uh, uh, locations that I shouldn't be able to get to. Which leads me to believe that it wouldn't actually work. But... Let's see. Actually, come to think of it. Um, okay, there's the scar. I was just looking to see if there was like... Because if there wasn't any... Like, collectibles in the scar, which I think would be strange, but you know, whatever. Uh, then I was thinking like, you know, I'd go and see if I could do it, but... The scar is actually quite a ways down on this collectibles guide, so like it's I don't know how like how long like it's right before Earth. Like right before we go back to Earth, but I don't know how far into the game that is. Like I said, with like the speed that you level up, and the fact that apparently you only get to 24 on your first playthrough on average. I guess apparently, depending on how much you kill, if you kill an insane amount, you can get higher, but 24 seems to be the consensus. Uh, either that or else you start to slow down your leveling like a lot. Alright. Oh wow, is this actually a dungeon? <coughs> it is. That apparently does not have a name. Go get some cat. Apparently as one at some point money becomes like no issue for you. But I don't know if that's necessarily because, like, you just don't have anything to buy or you get, like, a huge amount of it all the time. I guess, like, once you start getting to the later levels, they would start dropping better gear because they would have to. Well, hello. You're big and mystical. Oh, nice. Oh, look at that. Now, can I get off of this guy? Okay, heavy attack. 
Okay, B lets me get off of him. All right. Mainly because I didn't know if I could get him over here. But there's another boatman coin. So that's cool that we have the construct guy. He, let's see now. Get back on. Now, does he have a ranged? He does. He has a grappling hook, in fact. I was really hoping that he could, like, grapple to that and then, like, death could use him to run across the chain or something. But I guess not. I mean, that might be, like, maybe I'll need to open this up or something and then I'll be able to do that. Uh, I, I, can I even get him through that door? Probably not, eh? I realize I keep doing that, but I, I, it's just I keep seeing things that like it could work on. Oh, I see. I do this. Aha, I was right. Hey, there we go. Called it. I was a little wrong, but you know. I still, you know, solved it in the end. So, now, my question is, is what about that other door? I should just be able to, oh, well, I was going to say I should just be able to land on the chain, you would think, but maybe not. I mean, I got to have one of those to fight stuff at some point, right? Now, is this a way to go or is this a way back? Yeah, that seems about right. <coughs> now, I'm not going to have to mount that guy to get back on the chain, am I? I should just be able to. There we go. Good. All right. I kind of assumed that would be the way back because it would be weird for them to put this in there, but actually have that path be like a distance. Because, I mean, you could, in theory, not notice that guy. Like, he is obviously fairly noticeable, but, you know. Oh. Now, I wonder. Nope. Are these guys actually any stronger or... Oh my god. Nope. Uh, cause I mean they're- they might be. Nope. Nice try though. There we go. Got rid of you. Oh, there's more of you. Yeah. I think I'm still attacking the ranged one, but I'm not 100% on that. <coughs> yeah, burn bitches. Eventually you'll die from it. Oh. I still don't know if that's better than my... Than my sights. Because, I mean, it doesn't look like I'm doing a huge amount of damage, but at the same time, like, the... I don't know. Maybe I should use that to set them on fire and then switch over to my scythes to uh, to finish them off, you know? Because, like, once the fire damage is going, I don't know. Boop. Boop. Put it away. Thank you. And anything good? No. All right. And a health potion I can't use. It's so weird after the first one. And playing it on that difficulty. And then not, like, worrying about health. <coughs> like, the enemies hit me and yeah, it hurts. But it's not, like, my entire health bar like it was in the first one. It, which is very nice. Uh, hopefully I'll get... Some pretty decent stuff before I have to go through it on the hardest difficulty, but well, that just is broken. Uh, and like, I'll have just as much fun with it, if not more, because maybe I'll uh, I'll figure out the secret to death not being such a tool when he's doing his parkour stuff here. I also fully believe that he can climb that those posts, but I feel like he's not actually grabbing the post. Can I go across there, or do I have to go? I don't even know where I'm actually going. Because I feel like that way can't be right. 
What do I gotta go down? Yeah, I do. <coughs> I had the direction right, just not the dip or the height. Okay. Oh, that's just the other side of that gate. Yup. Uh, another gate. It's just an empty hole down there, though. I hope that at some point I can get an upgrade for this gun so that it actually does damage. Like, because I would love to uh, be able to one-shot these things. Because, like, they're... Like, I still don't know if they ever hit me. Oh, no, there you go. I did take a little bit of damage. So, I mean, they do connect, just they take fucking forever. I still don't know when they hit me, is the thing. Like, they're so small, and, you know, obviously I'm doing stuff at the time that they hit me. It's so, like, I don't actually see their attacks to know when I would need to dodge. I wonder how much damage they do on the higher difficulties, because, like, I'll leave that there for now. I'm not mi really missing any health that I need to worry about. Oh, also. Uh, okay. Uh, in crate or something. There it is. 27 coins! Alright. Got a door here that we cannot open with a chest behind it, but there's another door there, so odds are we'll come back through that area. Got some more stuff to break here for some monies. Anything where you get stuff from breaking things is like environmental objects is great like that's definitely bonus points see now there's a thing that i would like to do here but because it's death oh 100 worked all right there's probably stairs to get up here then eh because <coughs> i feel like they would have put more effort into stopping you from doing that if you weren't supposed to be up here in the first place Man, it's nice that I can do that when I'm breaking pots, but not when I'm actually trying to do it. Uh, oh yeah, there we go. Stairs right there. It's good to know that I can do that corner jump, though. I mean, that might come in handy. Uh, let's see, we just got that. We came through that door. Let's... Oh, that's the wrong way. Okay, so the way... Okay, so let's see... So this way should lead us back up. Okay, so I unlock the shortcut to the entrance. Not that that is probably very useful. And then I unlock the way down, and then that door can be opened. So do I go down or do I go through the door? Uh, I guess we'll go down. I mean, eventually we'll find a map, unless the map is through that other door. Well, I mean, still eventually we'll find it, but you know. Oh, across there. Well, I won't be going back that way, that's for sure. Oh, well now, aren't you, uh, large? Well, see, now this looks like a grappling hook situation right here. So we may very well get that in this part. Let's see. Uh, yep, can't get across there, so... Alright, so it looks like we'll get our grappling hook here. Uh, I see that there's a portal in here, or a portal thing in here as well, though. So, maybe we'll get the portal? Nah, come on. There's no way we're going to get both of them in here, but... Seems weird that they would have... Because, like, in the last game... The one area that you never... Like, you never had to worry about going back... Into a, uh, Into a dungeon... Okay, well, I mean... Alright, so... I just kind of assumed... Since, you know... Alright, that was weird. Since he just automatically lands on them... I don't know what that just did.
Um, oh, and there's one even higher up. Jesus. Maybe I have to do them in the right order or something. Oops. Oh, I see. Probably releases that ball. <coughs> there we go. Which... I don't... Okay, well, I still don't know what it did then. Nice of them to not show me. All right, where do you go? Uh, I'm assuming then that I have to bring you up. It's mainly because like, I don't see anywhere else to go and I'm pretty sure I can't push you through a door. Go, oh, calm down right there. Okay, it actually gives me plenty of time to get on it. I was a little worried that like, maybe I wasn't supposed to actually get on it or something, but. Assuming I need it over there. Now, how do I do that again? Nope. Nope. There it is. Right trigger it is. Alright, now then, how do I raise... Hello? I'm not actually... No, no, okay. Well, that's more or less where it said it was. Oh, okay, I can actually climb up on that side. It's nice of them to start that elevator down and not make you climb up here. And then activate it, you know? Although I guess, you know, you could also end up coming up here and activating it. And then realizing that that's not where you needed it. Alright, you just chill there for a second, actually, because, like, I don't... Okay, there it is. I was like, I don't actually know where the fuck I need you. <coughs> Ooh, greens. Let's... Yeah, yeah, health potion. What's the item? Another fucking arm blades, man. So many of them. Also, I did play the last part, and, uh... Whoops. The audio came through loud and clear, like the, uh, the, the talking, the speech, so it should hopefully, like, I don't, like, if I heard it on the recording, there's no way that it wouldn't have worked, right? I would hope anyway. I also hear something fucking growling at me. Like, I don't, but whatever. All right. So I'm assuming this is leading us, yeah, this is leading us back into the first area. Get this. Ooh, purple. A fierce buckler. Uh, piercing damage, crit chance, fast damage. I'll just stick with what I got for right now. Because, like, I don't, like, when you go to the actual inventory screen, it shows you everything that you're losing as well as the stuff that you're gaining, but... I don't know why it wouldn't show you that any oh really why are these things back oh you know what though let's uh do that <coughs> so i don't actually have the upgrade that a lot that makes enemies attack the ghouls i should probably get that eh so that would probably be useful there we go. Alright. North door we go. What did that do for us? Like, we went through all of that. And I feel like we gained nothing. Like, we got a couple chests. But I feel like, overall, we didn't actually accomplish anything. Like, we didn't really open anything up. We killed some stuff. But, like... Fuck you, buddy, and your goddamn heat-seeking smashes. So is that guy a new guy, or is that the guy I knocked off? Whoops. Is that the guy that I knocked off? Oh, hello. 
Man, that was unfortunate for you. Oh, back to full health. There we go. Ooh, what is this? Nothing. Alright. I might, in between parts, like this part and the next part, go and buy a possessed weapon from Volgrom. And uh, start upgrading it. Actually, no, I'll wait until level 10. Because you can upgrade its level 5 times. And then... Apparently, if you drop it on the ground, um, and then pick it back up, you can upgrade it five more times. Or if you sell it to a merchant and then buy it back, you can upgrade it five more times. Uh, so I'll wait until level 10, because level 30 is the max. And I don't want to take it past level 30. Apparently, you can do that to take it past level 30, but I don't want to do that. Um... Because it'll just be nice to have it and I won't have to worry about it. Worry about picking up new weapons and that. It'll save me time for videos and whatnot. Um, okay. Yeah. Dive into a sunken keep chamber. Yeah, well, oh wait. Is that it? There. No. Yep. There we go. <coughs> wait, and that's it for this dungeon, so... Either we're close to the end of it, or there's just no more collectibles in here. We still haven't got the rest of those pages of the dead, eh? Or the book of the dead. I don't know exactly what we'll get from it anyway, but I imagine that it'll be something good. Because, like, I guess, what would they be the equivalent of? I guess they, they'd kind of be the equivalent of the, uh, the artifacts in the first game, but there's only ten. So, I mean... I'm trying to do that fucking smash, and I just, I just can't do it. I don't know how to do it. Whatever. I'm going to have to buy all the moves anyway at some point for the achievement, but. Oh, there we go. Um, I can probably make that jump right. I mean, that looks like an easy jump to make. Ah, uh, well. I mean, to be fair, it's not like that proved me wrong. It wouldn't be the first time Death has refused to do an easy jump. Because, you know, his, his pinky toe was over the ledge, therefore he obviously cannot jump, even though most people push off their heels when they jump. I mean, I guess you could push off the ball of your foot as well when you jump, but, you know, I don't know. I don't jump, so... I don't know how people jump. I prefer to stay on the ground. <sighs> Too much energy to go up. Alright. Are we through? Because I feel like there probably isn't a boss here. Like, I have a feeling that at some point we're just going to leave. Because, like, it's just an in-between thing to get to the next, like, real dungeon. Alright, now... Dickhead out here, he should be. Ooh, what is this? Room for a key. Yeah, there it is. There's also DLC stuff that I don't know if it'll be part of the collectibles guide or not. Be, I would hope so, but I also don't know if this collectibles guide is uh, for the definitive for this edition or not. Sure, increase my strength. That's more damage, right? That's cool. All right, Karn. <coughs> I found your helmet forever ago. I found your armor. Stun be praised. It brings back memories to see it again. Oh, damn it. I was really hoping I could just select it. And then what of carven stone? That's what we call the Stone of Construct Sentinels, to be specific. Uh, a sad thing destroying what a maker worked so hard to craft, but these days it must be done. You'll find the construct sentinels you need in the Lost Temple. Of course. Good luck to you. Yeah. Horseman, may I beg you another favor? What is it this time, Pop? A compass that guided me to many wonders when I was young. 
I thought it lost, like the temple. But now that you've found one... The other will follow. Very well, Khan. What can you tell me about this place? I've been here but the once. The time I tried to tip a construct. A fine sport. Aye, it is. I could but nudge him an inch before my nerves gave out. The whole time I felt Muria watching me. Who the fuck is Muria? Oh, whatever. Alright, so we got a door that leads nowhere, apparently, because it would be somewhere over here, right? That we can't open because we need a key. Uh, okay. Let's see, how long have we been going? Because we did cleared a dungeon. Half hour. And, like, we're about to go into another dungeon. So, would this dungeon be about a half hour long? Or should I stop the video now so that we can start fresh in the dungeon? I feel like I'll just cut the video a little short. We did a dungeon. We did the, the nook, right? Like, that's what it was called. Come on. Yeah, we did the nook. Which is a weird ass name for a dungeon, but whatever. Um, so I won't go and buy the uh, the possessed thing in between parts. I'll save that for after. Um, but yeah, that'll be it for this part. Uh, thanks everybody for watching, and I will see you on Friday where we will go through the Lost Temple.